what's going on youtube man welcome back to another video now before we jump into today's video man you should have know what you should have been did like comment and subscribe we trying to save the world we trying to save as many people as we can so make sure you hit that post notification bell so you don't get that post nut clarity my guys now listen man that just gave me so much life and i hope it gave y'all some life as well man you know shout out to everybody that supported me everybody that's liking sharing and subscribing man i appreciate you for real for real you know as you can see by today's title i wanted to bring you guys a video on one of the most important things that you can do to make god happy this is one thing that you can do if you want to be blessed by God. And that one thing is you have to be a very selfless person. You have to be willing to put other people's needs above yours. You know, in Matthew 23, verse 11, it says, he that is the greatest among you shall be your servant. So basically what I'm doing right now, I have a platform on YouTube. You know, I have a platform that people come and watch me to take some knowledge if they need it. You know what I'm saying? So the fact that I have a platform and I'm willing to help other people who are all over the world, that shows you that I am a humble servant. I'm not keeping all the knowledge and I'm not keeping things to myself. I'm able to express myself so other people can learn from me as well. You know, so one thing you have to learn how to, to do is to be a selfless person. God does not like the selfish. One thing I always notice whenever I see celebrities giving out money to people, they always got to be posting it on social media. They only giving people like $10, maybe 20 if you're lucky. But they always, one thing I've noticed with celebrities is that they always have to post what they're doing on the, in, on, on the internet. And God doesn't like that either. Someone who is claiming to be humble, but bragging about what they're doing. So you have to be a selfless person. You know, a part of being a good husband as well, you have to be selfless onto your wife. You know, I'll drop that Bible verse and I'm gonna just explain it right now. You have to be a selfless person in order to be a good godly husband because your wife is gonna have needs as well. You're going to have to provide things to satisfy your wife. You know, and a part of that is making sacrifices. A part of that is putting your wife's needs above yours, you know, in order to make her happy. So we got to understand that whenever you see someone who might be less fortunate than you, you have to help those people as well. You have to do it coming from a place of love. You have to do it coming from a place of, okay, I want to make my father proud. You don't want to do it in a way where it seems like you're operating in your flesh. Because when you seem like you're operating in your flesh, that's when you start telling people what you did. Oh, I gave this guy $10 today. Oh, I just blessed this person with this today. You don't want to do that. You want to be that person who can give people things and not expect it back. And I want to add some balance to this. Sometimes if your cup isn't full, how are you going to help other people? You know, let's add some balance to this. So I'm not saying that if you're not in the position to help other people, that you should just give away your last dollar. I'm not saying that. If, you're, if your cup is not full, how are you gonna pour into someone else's cup? You know, but let's say you have money or you, you're in a position where you can help people. That is where you have to put yourself last. You have to be willing to put yourself last. You have to be willing to, to make other people happy before you. That is how God can exalt you because it shows that you're humble. It shows that you're not operating in pride. It shows that you're not just a conceited me, me, me type of person. It shows God that you're willing to make him proud no matter what. There's times in my personal life, you know, shout out to my mom if she's watching this. You know, there's times where my mom might be feeling tired and I, and I realize that she's tired, you know, and maybe the house might get, might need to be cleaned up Maybe the stove might have to get wiped off. And the fact that I acknowledge that she's tired, 
and I'm willing to be aware and say, you know what? I'm going to just clean off the stove just for the just for her sake. You know, I'm going to put whatever it is that I got to do to the side and I'm going to just do this just for her. And this goes back to my video that I made on why you shouldn't hold grudges. You know, God is willing to forgive us. So why shouldn't we be able to forgive other people? You know, if someone did you wrong and they ask you for, you know, a blessing, be the person who's going to still give to that person, no matter what they did. But always do it for the right reasons. Do not be a helping hand for the wrong reasons. You know, let's say someone who's addicted to, to drugs or something like that, right? Don't fit, don't take my message and be like, okay, Javon said I got to help whoever needs help. You know, that doesn't mean that you should go give a, a, a person who's addicted to drugs money. No, because you're not helping that person. Always be a selfless person onto people who genuinely need the help. You know, people who might, you might see them suffering. People who genuinely need the help, that is how God can exalt you. A part of being a good husband, you have to love your wife. You have to love your wife just like how you love yourself. You know, and in order to do that, you have to be selfless. There's gonna be times where you're gonna have to sacrifice your needs you know, there's going to be times where you have to put your wife's need above yours just to keep her happy. You know, because the women are a weaker vessel, so they're more prone to do certain things. So you have to put your wife's needs above yours. I don't care who might be looking at what I just said and being like, oh, he's a simp. Oh, this and that. That is just a biblical way to, to have a happy marriage. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people think, oh, because you're nice to a woman, because you treat a woman this certain way, you're a simp. The red pill community is deceiving you, man. But that's off topic. That is one way that you can make our father proud. Let's say you have a lot of clothes in your closet. You know what I'm saying? Be the person who's going to give back. Be the person who's going to be willing to, to throw away some of those clothes and give to the less fortunate. You know, let's let's get technical with this. Let's say you live in a big household like me, right? And maybe there's not a lot of food. You know, and I've always been a type of person who would always put people's needs over mine. That is how I know I have a pure spirit. That is how I know. Because there's times where, you know, there's maybe a big piece of chicken that my mom will probably make, right? There's been times where my mom will probably make some food and there's like a big piece of chicken and I'm not going to take the biggest piece, you know, because one that always plays on my consciousness, knowing that I took the biggest piece when that could have probably been saved for another day or for someone else. You know what I'm saying? So I always been the type of person who's going to settle for the little piece of chicken. I always think for other people because I'm like, okay, I wouldn't want this being done to me. So I'm not going to do that to them. So my phone actually got cut out. But what I was basically saying is a lot of celebrities, they operate in pride. They feel like because they're making all the money in the world that they're better off than people at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? But that's not the way you should operate because I know for a fact, if I was a celebrity, that's not how I would want to operate. That's not the type of spirit I would want to operate in. You know, when my YouTube takes off, I actually want to be able to feed people. I actually want to be able to save the world, man. I say this in my intro every single day. You know, I actually want to be able to give back to where I came from, which is Jamaica, and probably build a school, you know, build a house for someone who's homeless or something like that. You know, give them shelter, give them a peace of mind. I want to be the type of person to be able to do that, you know? So in order to please God on your walk, you have to be selfless. You have to be willing to put your needs and wants aside just for other people's sake who might need it more than you do. You know, you have to be willing to do that if you want God to exalt you. You know, God isn't going to exalt someone who is selfish, someone who always takes everything and does is and is not willing to share. Someone who's not willing to, to give. 
someone who's not operating in generosity. So if you guys took something valuable or learned something new today, make sure to drop a like. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions, man. Share this video with a friend because they will need it. Now look, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I'll catch you in the next one and I'm out.